Hi friends, welcome to my channel, The Fragrance Kingdom. Hope you've been doing well. I, uh, you know, welcome. Thank you for watching. And you know what? We will keep saying the same things over and over again in every video. But actually, if you really like, uh, you know, the content, because I try to talk about perfumes, this channel is all about perfumes, and I want this channel to be perspective on perfumes from a tropical sort of like climate and what works for girls like uh, living in tropical climates. Girls, women, you get it. Okay, so don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like the video, you know, post some comments. I'd love, love, love some interaction. And uh, let's get on with it. So it is my birthday week. I've just had a birthday and um, I, you know, it was a quiet birthday just with family. Wherever you are, if you have a birthday this month, a very, very big happy birthday to you and you have, you're having a good birthday. Okay, so I decided to do my top perfume special because it's my birthday week. And I said, let me bring to you a, a perfume that I, I don't want to see adore, love, None of that kind of, you know, that justice to what this perfume means to me. It was the first perfume I bought this year. I think it was December last year when I started kind of uh, researching perfumes. And I was going to just go ahead and buy this perfume. And because so many of uh, the reviews say that you have to, have to, have to smell it before you decide. Because it, the word is polarization. The word is, um, you know... North Pole, South Pole, some love it, some hate it. But on, on average, I think it's a very well-loved perfume. It is a perfume much talked about for the past, I think, 25 years. It is Mogla Angel. So I'm lucky because India was doing a lot of, uh, you know, uh, bottles from the original Thierry Mogla. I think of Mogla, Mogla. <laughs> I don't know how to say it because it's a French name. Anyway, so it's it, it has been uh, taken over by L'Oreal, and L'Oreal apparently did uh, you know does whatever it needs to do across the business, reformulate, rechange, re kind of design stuff. So apparently it's been re re kind of formulated. But what I have is the original one from Theory or Theory 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 Mugla. Okay, and. It's an absolutely iconic perfume because it released in 1992, became an instant hate or a hate. Lots and lots of um, reviews on this. I'm doing this review because, you know what, no matter what age you kind uh, you discover it, I discovered it pretty late in spite of having like a massive, um, you know, liking for perfumes. Anyway, quickly, 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 blah, 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 quickly. <laughs> Okay, so I did a lot of research for this perfume. I said, I'm going to buy it. It sounds like me. I'm just going to, you know, um, online buy it at that point in time. And because it was uh, supposed to be something that you had to spray and test before you buy. So I went to a very, um, you know, accessible place. I'm at the, co at the counter was Alien and was injured okay so i did a spritz on one uh, one spritz of each on a wrist and i said i'm gonna you know come back and see what i feel about it so i was in a rickshaw i was uh and uh, as soon as i sprayed alien it was okay well i don't want to talk about it i'm going to talk about the angel okay so between both of them i i was you know like blown away when you go to a different world and you stay there and you're like what is this what is this so for me look at this bottle guys it's just 25 ml and i think i'm gonna i'm gonna be so so careful with this i when i got it i continuously sprayed it for like i think the whole month every single day i was just like what is this crazy thing that you know Theory Mugla has created. What is this crazy thing? So for me, I don't know why Angel, but for me, this is Earth. Everything that the Earth reminds me of. Everything, like it's got, you know, it's got the flora, it's got the fauna, it's got the mountains, it's got the Earth. A lot of people describe this as uh, dirty and guttural, 
or visceral in the way it smells. But I think maybe because you've never encountered what wet soil or maybe perhaps, you know, the mountains, like when the really raw mountains smell like, and therefore you've not been able to make a connection. But this, my friends, is this beautiful earth for me. <laughs> it is genderless. I, I don't even want to say unisex because unisex means, you know, either or. For me, this is totally genderless. It is earth, earth in a bottle, earth with all of its, I guess the only, only kind of element that, you know, like the ocean element, I don't get. But other than that, air, um, you know, earth, flowers, fruits, so many other things that come in and it's un <laughs> unbelievable. So I'm going to spray it right now. I actually want to go, I'm going to go spray it myself because I don't want to waste even one. I think I can't stop loving it. There was a time when in summer it went a little chemically on me and I was like, okay, this is not a summer perfume. It's definitely, definitely blooms in cooler climates. Right now we have rains. So, uh, you know, we, we are at about 27, 28 degrees. It, it is fantastic. I can tell you how fantastic it is because I, I you know, I'm, I get migraines quite often. You won't believe it. Any any fragrance just puts me off so badly. I get nausea and things like that. And I have put angel. And I've gone to sleep because it was so soothing. It is such a nostalgic perfume. It just reminds me of so many different eras. I mean, it reminds me of 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s. Ah, it is timeless. I mean, it just kind of, it is the past, the present, the future all together in one. So perhaps it is an angel, but, you know, it, it's just way too mesmerizing for me. I know a lot of people have uh, given some crazy ass reviews and they don't like it. Uh, for me, it's it's gorgeous. I can't uh, list all the notes because there's there's about eight top notes and about twelve or thirteen middle notes, and again eight, uh, you know, uh, base notes. As I said, there's so many things going on, but it is just beautiful. What does it smell like? It smells like earth, flowers. So there's also this, you know, the chocolatiness that comes through in this. And I think it's not, it's not your usual milk chocolate or, you know, like a mixed dense chocolate. It's a dark, like a deep dark chocolate. Like maybe like almost like very, uh, you know, a rustic, a rustic chocolate. It's not your original on the counter chocolate. So that, that's what it smells like. It also, a lot of people have said it smells like a fair. Like, um, I mean, you know, when you go to a gala or like where there's this, you know, merry-go-rounds and stuff like that. So you have different, different, you know, stalls, food stalls, and then you have candy floors, and then you have um, nuts and things like that. So there's, there's just this amalgamation of all of these fragrances in this. And perhaps there is, there is a sweet, it is, it is a sweet perfume. With so many different elements. I can right now I can get like the greens. I get patchouli so much in this. Like I love the patchouli in this. I just love the earthiness that it has. It reminds me of so many trees. It reminds me of forests. It reminds me of rivers, of riverbed. It reminds me of like basically it reminds me of earth. And I just I can't get over this perfume. They have this beautiful backing and you know, all of that doesn't really matter for me. I hope I can cherish this perfume and maybe at some point I might try the L'Oreal one and uh, see how that, that is. Um, but this one, this 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 beauty is keeps for me. It just is nostalgia in a bottle. Loads and loads of uh, notes that kind of um, remind me of, I don't know what I feel, maybe when I was in the 60s I smelt it, maybe I, I was not bought it. <laughs> I'm just saying, I just feel like there's so many, so many decades and centuries all kind of combined in this one. So that's Angel for you. I know, reviewed crazily, kind of like to a point where it's like, um, maybe it's redundant and there's so many flankers and so many different, uh, you know, kind of 
iterations of this one. I might try them. I mean, if I get it, I might try them. But this, this, my friend, is a gorgeous top, top guy. So thank you very much. Again, if you've had a birthday this month and actually all year, I hope you're having you know, a great time and everything's well at your, your end. Um, keep rocking, actually. Keep rocking. Stay safe. The storm is not over. The ship is still sailing. And I shall see you with another perfume very soon. Thank you and take care. Bye.